Sometimes being the bigger person is overrated, and this is coming from media personality Bimi Olateru Olagbegi. She went on to say, "You can do your own back, I beg. Sometimes the other person needs to be taught a lesson." End of quote. I totally agree with me on this because um, I think people take advantage of the fact when they tell you, you know, hey, you're the bigger person, mm. be the mature person. I stopped being a bigger person like that's it. For that two reason, years ago. Um, <laughs> You're, you're supposed to take any BS anybody throws at you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, you're also human. You, you feel you feel it when people say things you want to react to. You also have that part of your tongue that's not so seasoned, you know, that can actually cuss out an entire generation. And so people take advantage of that. And many times celebrities are at the receiving end of this and mm. you're not supposed to respond. You you be the bigger person. No, but you just said I something. I want to be the smaller you know, person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, humanly. Are we you, saturated yeah, in that you know, area? Humanly like... you got to me. But yes, sometimes again you choose your battle. Is mm, it worth yeah. it? Should I respond to you and I choose But sometimes it's about being worth it, like what she said. Yeah. Teach the person That's a it. lesson. You know, like, mm. Don't don't come at me this because I can also decide to be foolish and stupid as you are. Because mm. I also have my fundamental human right to be stupid. <laughs> all right, you're not the only one with th that can exercise that right. So let's all be guided, please. Mm. Like be very guided. So I, I'm 100 percent with her on this. But again, choose your battles. You know? I think I'll have to put that into yeah. context of where that applies. I think for relationships and work, I will always do take the higher road. Mm. Just because I spend a lot of my life in there, I'd rather just have peace. And the way I work, I'm not, I, I don't really retain that much. I feel like once I say it, uh, it's done. I'm not like dwelling on it. So it's very easy for me to just let it go. But if it comes to friendships, for example, or new relationships, I'm very quick to quickly like put the, you know, the measures down and everything. But when it comes to, like I said, work and thingy, I would just like to... When it like comes to, to relationship, maybe mm. I can take the higher road, but yeah. still work. I was just going to say that for me. I think work... <laughs> I, think work I, I think business environment is one of the most... Easiest so places where place people can, can actually in. take advantage of you and, and but I'm not about to start you, you know, having me, pick fights with each person. No, you don't have to like, What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my boundaries. We're here to work. All right, I think taking the higher road is yeah. setting your boundaries. That's it. You know, so know it from the start. But when so, somebody um, crosses that boundary, um, then you have you have something coming. You just did it. <laughs> your talk face, like <laughs> I'm coming for you. You know, and for relationships, I might I might you know take the higher road because okay, I, I want to understand you because it's a whole lot of understanding. Mm. You know, and there's somebody, a whole lot of feelings, love, emotions you know, involved in intimacy. it. And so, but again, mm. it's it's not going to be always at my detriment because mm. before before you know it, it becomes toxic. It could yeah. have become um, a behavioral pattern without a person. So I need to understand what exactly this is you know but in the workplace please set the boundaries so i mean you know you because you can there. even take that that statement that saying take the high road as what you can use to teach the person because mm. when you say take the high road like what exactly do, do we mean, mean by that i could take the high road straight to the md <laughs> and that's a very high road and, and you know amazing i've come <laughs> to realize that sometimes with you people say you know i was just trying to be nice mm. niceness isn't you sometimes um displeasing yourself nice is me actually telling you the way it is sometimes i'll see don't talk to me that way. So mm. people feel they, they confuse niceness to mean, you know what, always take whatever they give to you. Mm. I, I don't want to be rude. No, no, no. Stating what works for you is not being rude. Because I don't, I don't Nigerian, think I'll call it nice it, either. Exactly. In, in, in the Nigerian context, once I'm, I'm bold and assertive and telling you what I don't appreciate, to some people like, and you're coming up, she comes up rude and arrogant. No, it's me letting you know, you can't, I, this is how, I want to be treated. I'm setting the standard. So if, if you're not okay with it, mm -hmm. then please take a seat somewhere at the back. No, why at you the know. back? Not by your side. No, not by my side. <laughs> because you can't be by my side. Because things can happen. You know? The hand moves, <laughs> you know. <laughs>